what's going on, Virgos? We're checking to see who is pulling on your energy. Thank you to everyone that has liked, shared, subscribed. If you guys have purchased the reading or if you donated to my page, I do appreciate you, okay? This energy could be masculine or feminine. You just place the energy on whatever side you need to. That means for you guys that's in my comments, you know, if you're saying this doesn't resonate or this is not, this was not me, this was them or what have you, you know where the energy needs to go and you place it there. If it's not something that doesn't, uh, that, that doesn't resonate with you, then you want to check your other placements, check the other signs in your birth chart, okay? Or check another reader, all right? We have... We're all here to help. So let's get to it. Okay, so you have someone that's thinking about you. They may have something that you gave them, uh, something that you wrote them, they're looking at, they're going over memories. Okay, for them it's a keepsake. Okay, this may be someone that uh, you had uh, a relationship with. You may have music in common with this person, Virgo. Okay, either you write songs, they write songs, and you guys may have sent messages to each other via song. Um, this person may have had you waiting for something. I mean, I feel like you were maybe waiting for them uh, to do better or uh, to do something you told them to do, uh, something of that nature. Um, this is um, waiting for the right time, impatience, antsy. You may have grown very impatient because you got tired of waiting for them to do what it was that you needed them to do. And I feel like that person was saying, oh, well, it's not time for me to do X, Y, and Z yet. What I'm getting here is that someone may have felt like they were too young to do certain things or the coordinates wasn't right or maybe someone didn't have enough money uh, or some, uh, maybe their parents didn't want them to do something, okay? Give me one more card, Spirit. Hopefully you guys know who this person is. Make it plain. Thank you. Yep, this is a person that does love you, though, even though they gave you a hard time. Okay? So they may have shocked you with a lot of things that they they did because, or they shocked you in a way. And this person's hair in this card, like, it's, it's all over the place, like static. Okay? So this person could have... Um, shocked you with a lot of a, a lot of things or they could have shocked you with things they said to you or things that you found out about them yes thank you spirit okay this is a uh, spiritual connection for you bottom of the deck twin flame soulmate life partner okay this could have been someone that you felt was a kindred spirit hopefully you guys know who this is This is the person that's pulling on your energy. Anything else? Okay. Okay, so yeah. All right. So this person had you in a... Um, in a cycle of burdens, okay? You still may be stuck in this cycle, uh, Virgos. I don't feel like you've broken it yet. I feel like you may feel like it's always something. It's always something that is impacting you in your life, okay? And, and not even, I don't feel like you're with this person. I feel like you guys may have taken a break or may have parted ways or something of that nature. But the cycle still hasn't ended because you still have contact with them in some way. Um, and I feel like you can look at your life from the time when you met this person um, and say, this is when my life started to make a change. You felt like this relationship was something that it wasn't or maybe this was going to be your end all be all. But it became something uh, that you did not see. Right. You didn't even understand how it got that way because you guys started off one way and then you ended another way. Very, very unrealistic ending. And none of the relationship went the way that you felt that it would be. 
Mm -hmm. Spirit is using this knowledge and this information that they have bestowed upon you via dreams or via uh, synchronicities. Some of you are paying attention um, to, to outline this person for a reason. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but hopefully you guys are going to grasp what I'm talking about. Spirit gave you a repeat lesson, okay? This is why you're still you're still in a cycle. The reason why you're still in a cycle, okay? And this person is able to pull on your energy is because you've never ended the cycles the way that you needed to. The way to end a cycle with um with the universe is to let the divine know that you know what the lesson is that you've learned the lesson and to actually state it okay going forward i know that i shouldn't do this i shouldn't do that and if these coordinates are there then i should do this you have to really just like 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 the universe is a teacher and if they feel like you have not you know gotten an a or b and even a c on your lesson they're going to give it to you again okay and it could be in a different face in a different uh different you know coordinates different atmosphere but you know everything is going to feel like you're in a deja vu moment or that you continuously keep getting the same types of issues and i feel like some of you virgos feel like you've been stuck for a while but it's because you have not proven to the universe that you have learned the lesson. So you need to sit and you need to think about how to get to this resurrection. How to have a rebirth. The Spirit of the Sun is here. The divine has been trying to give you this, this wisdom, this knowledge, right? Spiritual knowledge, been sharing it with you, okay? And in this, the Spirit of the Key. So you're missing the key somewhere. There's a key that you need to tap into that will uh, open up uh, the rest of your life, my loves. You can't get to the good shit till you deal with the old shit, all right? So someone needs to hear this. Now, in this photo, it's like an eagle, and it has uh, a string attached, right? So you guys could be dealing with soul ties, Right, some sort of soul uh, energy or some sort of kindred energy, you know, soulmate, twin flame, what have you. But with this, right, it looks like a pair of scissors as well. The key looks like it could could be either a pair of scissors or a or a key. Okay, so spirit is saying the key is that you need to start cutting certain things, people, places, and things out of your life. And I feel like you're not doing that, okay? When you see that someone is 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 not on the same level as you, they're not energetically equal to you, uh, they don't have the same goals and ambitions as you, they don't have the same vision as you. This is not someone that you should be attaching yourself to, or this is something or someone that you need to get away from. And I feel like you guys have a hard time doing that. All right. So this is what I'm saying. Now, spirit of the sun, energy, vitality, resurrection. Spirit is wanting you to have a rebirth. Right. You may be standing in your emotions. You may be very emotional now. Okay. Or people can trigger your emotions like that. But you're here because spirit is trying to get you to awaken to the fact of what you need to do to get these burdens and these hardships and these lessons off you once and for all okay so let's continue no need for virgo thank you okay this is a person that's saying hey i'm ashamed of myself thank you wow all right this person stalks you so even if you're not around this person, this person is watching you. I stalk you just to see you sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm addicted to your sex. So this is a person that's addicted to you intimately or they think about it all the time. Right? I'm afraid that you will reject me if I come to you. Right? And this is someone that, um, that knows that you're tired and you're fed up. Okay? And I feel like. This is a person that continues on their BS because they're the burden. They're the hardship. 
this is what you were dealing with, but I feel like they're not ready to change. They want to do what they're doing, right? And as long as you stay connected to them, whoever this person is, you're going to uh, be dealing with these burdens and these hardships as well, okay? I don't know what to do. I'm so ashamed. So this is a person that's ashamed of themselves. Why? Because they keep choosing their free will. They reject uh, the energy that you give. Now, this can be anybody, guys. This can be someone that you had a relationship with. This could be someone that you're married to. This could be someone that you divorced. This could be someone that you work with. This could be someone that's a friend of yours. You put the energy wherever it needs to go, but this is what's coming through. Someone is saying, you know what? I'm not going to do what you want me to do. I reject that energy and I choose my free will to live how I see fit, whoever this person is, right? And I know I can't come to you because you're going to reject me because you do not agree with the way that I've been living, okay? But you are beautiful or handsome to me, right? And Spirit is saying, hey, this person is moving like this very rebellious um, and still doing things that they know possibly that they shouldn't be doing because someone is doing magic on them to get them to uh, to do what they want them to do, okay? So this person has a cycle with you and they have a cycle with someone else. So this person is really stuck in a lot of burdens. And this is a person that will be getting a lot of karma from the way that they move okay and this is why it says unrealistic delusions not as it seems because you could have felt like you and this person were a certain way okay you could have found out that this person was that same way with other people and right that would be the delusion because you're like wait a minute what the hell happened i thought it was just me and you and it wasn't okay so you know um someone may be throwing magic at this person and they may not know I do feel like they do not know. I do feel like whoever this person is, that they're not in a sense of feeling like someone can do magic on them. Like they may laugh at this. They don't have, a, they're not awakened. They don't, or they're not awake, you know, to, to the universal ways or universal things. So they would think that you done lost your damn mind. Okay. This is a person that broke your heart. They backstabbed you. They they hurt you. They may have walked away from you. And now this person is going through that same karma. Okay. Ten of Swords energy is here. Gemini is here. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying, hey, you, you had the new beginning. Or you're going to be going through a new beginning as soon as you choose to. Right. You have something coming to you to where you can have the Ten of Cups. You can have uh, emotional stability, security, family, right? You can have a happy marriage, a happy life, okay? And Pisces may be included in this. Nine of Cups, you can have wish fulfillment. Pisces, again, you guys may have a Pisces coming towards you, okay? Or you can have Pisces in your chart. But someone uh, wants happiness in their life. They don't want to be going through stress and strife. And you need to understand um, and look at people, okay? And just understand the energy that you're getting to see what they actually offer you. See if they're offering something um, that makes sense or see if they're actually just hindering you, okay? Or if they're causing delays or stagnation in your life. Someone here needs to go through this and understand, right? Because this person may want to have a reunion with you. I have the four of wands. They may want a reunion with you because they feel like, you know, you're home. They're comfortable with you, right? They, they've spent time with you. They know you front was back was upside down. Um, and yeah, like I said, this could be some sort of soul connection, right? But spirit is wanting you um, to use your strength when it comes to this person, okay? They want you to go and, and utilize your inner strength because where some of you may want to be bothered with this person, you may not need to be bothered with this person, okay? For the growth and um, the new to happen in your life, this is not something that you should be doing, okay? A Leo could be uh, significant to someone here. We have Ace of Cups, all right? Now, this person wants to come in and they want to offer love to you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. 
um, they want to fix something with you, but they're afraid to because they feel like you're going to reject them when they come. Okay, but some of you also have a new connection coming in. All right, that that will want a new relationship with you, some emotional happiness. So you guys may um, may have to pick between two people, but this new person coming in, you know, you be careful if you don't want to have any kids because that could be a thing. This new person's going to be coming in on some romance type of thing, okay? Trying to get you back. And so is the old person. They're going to be trying to hit it and trying to 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 uh, figure out how to romance you out, out of the seat of your pants here. It's Knight of Cups card. You know? Again, water sign or an Aquarius. I want to make some romantic proposals. I want to take an action. I want to invite you somewhere i want to take you out i want to sweep you off your feet right but this is also an energy of someone that can be very emotionally shallow very immature okay and this person could just make decisions you know and move with them and maybe like this with multiple people so this is what's coming through okay so this is the person in your energy virgos i'm sending you guys love and light you guys take care